discussing the book spoilers was um, what did you think the significance was of the title of the book? Mm. It's a good question. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's a really good question. <laughs> Huh. For me, I just thought of not only is like a main part of the story about like digging holes, but I feel like it's like in a metaphorical sense. Like, I feel like a lot of the characters feel like they're stuck in a place where they can't get out of. So mm -hmm. I feel like for Stanley, he feels that his family is like cursed by his um, great grandfather, and I think mm -hmm. um, also for um, all the other characters, they're all dealing with like run into the law and they don't really know how to get out of it. So that's how I interpret it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of, well, are we still on this question or can we just keep going with Yeah. Um, um, so one of the questions that I have is while reading to the children, like what kind of questions should we ask them mm -hmm. in, in order, like, first of all, like what kind, what age group is this appropriate for? Like, what grade is this appropriate for? Um, and what do you girls think? Um, well, okay, first of all, like, I didn't even know this was, the movie was, like, a Disney movie. And so, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I watched it when I was, I want to say when I was a child. And I didn't really think it was really for that type of age group. I thought it was more for, like, preteens because even when I watched the movie, um, I really didn't understand the whole context behind everything. So I think it's for more for like preteens. I didn't even know it was a book. <laughs> yeah. I just realized it was a book. When they started coming when I started working at schools, I'm like, oh it's a book? Like, okay. <laughs> it's funny because I actually I borrowed this I borrowed this book from um, the sixth grade teacher that I work with. And nice. so my best guess is probably, yeah, it's like a, I would say more towards like preteen, sixth grade, seventh grade ish reading level. Um, um, that's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's got uh, so. Talk and just adding and adding to that. Um, actually, the kids that I'm working with right now, they're in fourth grade and they're starting to read this book. And really? Yeah, wow. in fourth grade. So um, that's pretty cool that, you know, it can be any, like, from fourth grade. I haven't seen anything lower than fourth grade, but I feel like probably starting in third grade, third grade and up. Yeah. No, that's really cool. Um, and then also what I've noticed, uh, some really good things that they ask the kids about questions is mostly, um, like, like memory moments or tough questions that they find throughout the book and when the teacher is reading it to the kids in class the kids can raise some hand and um they can answer if you know if, the, if it was like an aha moment or an again and again moment mm. words of wiser and you know like again and again when it's a repetitive word that the character is saying over and over again yeah. so the kids just raise their hand and automatically um they'll be like, oh, that was an again and again, and that actually is an extension to um, papers and whatnot throughout the future. Yeah. Within the classroom. That's cool. I noticed there was, like, a lot of symbolism. Like, there's a lot of symbols. Mm -hmm. Like, why do you think that this book is like so big? Or like, why was like a milestone book, and why a lot of kids in fourth grade were able to read it? Sorry, you were gonna cut <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that, like, in regards to like teaching this um, in the classroom, do you maybe have an idea about why like, kids were so interested in this book, or um, why it's a milestone book? Well, I feel that. Um, just the words, the characters, they probably can relate to the characters, especially with Stanley being in a in a class where he didn't have any friends and then, you know, being bullied. So I, that's what I feel. Yeah. I think this 
but also it kind of like takes them on like a journey. There's like different um, uh, like plots within the, the book itself. And I also really liked that like it was like not only like Stanley's perspective, but then it was like they went back in time to when um, like the river was actually there and the lake was actually there. And I'm um, talking about like Sam. It's interesting to me because, um, like, you're mentioning how it's going back and forth. I just imagine, like, you would think that, like, fourth graders, did the fourth graders that are reading this book, like, do they have difficulty with the flipping back and forth, like, in the Actually, story? Actually, what the teacher does, he puts it underneath this projector, and a kid is, he picks a kid from the classroom to follow along, and so the kids can either read it, like, he has also a hard copy for the kids, so the kids can either read along with it or they can look at the projector while reading it, and the teacher is reading it out loud, and um, they're not having difficulty. They're, like, really interested in the book. Cool. And so, That's again, with when they go with, like, aha moments or again and again, the kids, they raise their hands immediately, and they're like, that was an aha moment, and then they go and talk about how that was a, um, that character, like, what was going on in that plot and how. So it, it's just very interesting. They're, they're really into that book. That's this cool. Book. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, so another question I have on the book is, what do you think are some like important takeaways from the book? It's like important themes or ideas that would be important for the book. That's a good question. <laughs> um, this might, uh, this might sound a little cheesy, but like, I think one of the themes is like the benefits of friendship, and basically how, you know, Stanley was finding out who his true friends were in um, the camp. I think that you know he really found true friendship with. Zero and um, even the other guy what was his name X Ray, X Ray I think, yeah. Um, you know it really showed Stanley that like, you know you really need to know who your true friends are and even at the end you know um, Zero did benefit from Stanley. Stanley benefited from Zero, and so. Something as simple as like, you know, bad bad times or bad things don't last forever. You know what I mean. And also about people trying to bring you down, and you really just have to lis listen to yourself and do what's best for you. Mm -hmm. And also the love that they created between one another, and that bond, um, that just helped them out with so much just to get through. Yeah. <laughs> that was so loud in my ear earphones. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Well, I feel that the reason that they call him mom is because they don't have that many, um, they don't have that, that many family members, maybe outside of camp, that, you know, they always looked up to, 
And so for someone to actually be calling them probably by their first name, faces, um, is just um, caring or seems to show some like that they care for them just by calling them on the first name basis and trying to help them out. He seemed to love it though. He seemed to <laughs> love it. <laughs>